So here's the question for you today. Uh, how do you get yourself into trouble? How do you find your way into sin? And here, here's some great shortcuts. If, I mean, if you're looking to get yourself in a lot of trouble, be around the wrong people, go to the wrong places, and be in the wrong places at the wrong time. That's what we learned from Proverbs chapter 7 today. Listen to these words beginning in verse 6. And the writer of Proverbs is kind of telling a story, almost like a parable of somebody who stumbled into trouble. So the writer says, At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along the direction of her house, at twilight as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. It's this picture of this young foolish person hanging around with some other foolish people and wandering towards her corner. And this is a kind of a place of prostitution, a place of sexual enticement. But here's what I want you to notice. Here, here's kind of three simple warnings. If you don't want to get into trouble, if you don't want to fall into sin, then think about the crowd you're hanging out with. This young guy is hanging around with a bunch of fools. So he ends up doing foolish things. Well, that, that's for kids. That's not for adults. Wrong. It's for all of us. We are shaped by the people we hang out. Whether, whether we hang out pe with people face to face, whether we hang out with them online, whether we hang out with them in a you know, church setting or in a secular setting, it doesn't matter. The people who are around will shape our choices, they'll shape our character, it will affect us. So if you wanna walk in holiness and live for Jesus, be careful who you hang out with. The second thing, be careful where you go. The guy in this passage is wandering to the wrong places, near her corner. If you are a recovering alcoholic, Probably spending a lot of time in bars is a bad call. If, if, if you are a person who struggles with an addiction to pornography, probably wander around the places on the internet where it's easy to get to are bad places to hang out. You get the picture, right? I mean, don't wander where temptation is waiting, especially areas you've been tempted and fallen into in the past. So be careful who you hang out with, be careful where you go, you go and be careful when you go there. Because this person goes at night at twilight, basically when the action is kicking in. So if you don't want to be involved in that action, avoid that place at that time. I remember taking my family uh, on a vacation and we were walking down the street and there was a guy who invited our family into a strip club. And it was the evening, the sun was setting, we'd had dinner, it was kind of a part of town that had nice restaurants, but in the evening, we'd go there in the daytime, it was not a problem. In the evening, it was a whole different tone. The bars were open, the strip clubs were open, it was an area uh, in, uh, out, you know, outside the country where we didn't know the area, but all of a sudden, it had a whole different feel to it. Wrong time to be hanging out there. And so here's the invitation today. If you want to do the right things, if you want to honor God and live the way that your heart longs to live, in a way that pleases Him, be wise about who you hang out with. Be wise about where you go. And be wise about the time you go certain places. And then pray for God's strength to help you make the wise choices. And if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, turn around and head, head out of there. And we didn't go back to that restaurant area another evening that week. As a matter of fact, when I said, I said, this guy asked me, do you want to go to the strip club with my wife and my three kids next to me? And my boys were like maybe, maybe seven, nine, and 11. And I said, I said, I said, I'm a married man with kids. And he says to me, it's a family show. And I'm thinking, no, it's not. But that's how his mind thought. And so be careful where you go and walk in holiness. Jesus, this is our prayer. There are so many enticements around us, so many opportunities to sin, and our own hearts will at times lure us in. And so we pray that we will make wise choices about who we're with, where we go, and when we go there. And that we will then have strength to live more for you and less in the ways of the world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great day and blessings on you as you gather with God's people for worship this coming Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, weekend, wherever, whenever you go to church. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll see you at 9 and 11, Sunday morning online and on campus. Have a great day.